bed bugs are literally on everybody's uh, mind, or better yet, on everybody's uh, body. So it was only a question of time that we got interested in this problem and trying to find a solution. We were very pleasantly surprised with how well this worked in the field. And uh, in very small traps, we had multiple dozens of bed bugs that, uh, that were lured into these traps. One uh, prerequisite for all this is to maintain a very large laboratory colony because the bed bugs are ultimately the source of the pheromone that we wanted to identify. What we decided ultimately to feed the bed bugs on ourselves, and luckily for us, Regina showed very insignificant symptoms as a response to the, the bed bug feeding. So eventually she ended up to become the uh, host for doing all these feedings. But all that allowed us to accumulate enough material for ultimately identifying the pheromone message. We needed so many shed skins from, from the bed bugs. I did bioassays and then we needed to have also enough for analysis. So it was never enough. So I ended up at the peak of the research feeding at least a thousand on this arm and a thousand on the other arm every week or sometimes even more. The research was um, jointly sponsored by um, ENSOC, the Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council of Canada, and an industrial sponsor, Contact Enterprises in, in Victoria, British Columbia. And we will um, work with them to develop now the uh, commercial trap and the commercial bait. So obviously this has uh, enormous commercial value. Since this publication came out, we've been contacted by many companies and, uh, and certainly many individuals uh, thanking us for this research. This is a problem. Uh, that is worldwide and so this has tremendous potential for detection of bed bugs at present and we hope that down the road we could use this technology to also control bed bugs.